Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. Thank you for joining me today for a yin yoga practice. Today I'm guiding you through a yin yoga wall sequence. So we'll be spending our time up against the wall. And this is a great practice when you've been standing on your feet all day, or you just feel completely exhausted and tired and want that extra support to release and let go. So I like to work with a few cushions and support as I come up against the wall. I fold a blanket and bring that against the wall and that supports my pelvis. So that's an option that you can use for tonight. And I also like to fold a blanket or take a flat pillow for the back of my head when I'm lying down. So it's totally up to you what feels best in your body. So you can bring your mat up against the wall and then to come up against the wall, you're gonna to turn to your side bringing your hip right against the wall. And then lower down onto your back, draw your knees and your feet upwards, and then take a moment to settle in. You can draw the body a little bit closer to the wall. If this feels too intense for your legs, you can also shift your hips further out away from the wall. I personally like to snuggle up right up against the wall and then add any extra support you might need underneath the base of your skull. And take a moment here to adjust and settle in. Taking a big breath in through the nose, all the way up into the center of your chest. And exhaling with a sigh. Feel the tips of your toes relax. And the bones of the legs dropping down into the hip sockets. Relaxing the lower back and the pelvis. And feeling each vertebrae of the spine relaxed to the ground, widening through the shoulder blades and dropping down through the shoulders. And just take a moment to make sure that your neck feels supported, drawing the chin an inch below the forehead, parting your teeth and relaxing your jaw. Once you feel supported in this posture, try closing your eyes. Softening the space between the eyebrows. Relaxing your scalp. and allowing the pull of gravity to draw the fluids of the body to your heart. Noticing the wave of your breath in and out through your nose, drawing you deeper into relaxation.
noticing if you feel a subtle difference in your body from the left side to the right side. Perhaps one side feels heavier than the other. Slowly transitioning from waterfall pose into butterfly pose, bending at your knees and drawing the soles of your feet together to touch. Your heels dropping towards the groin just to a comfortable distance. You can always support your thighs by placing your hands to your thigh bones just letting the bones rest in your palms. And again, noticing the movement of fluids and prana through the groin, through the hips, towards your heart. Can you feel your pelvic bowl sinking down, letting the weight of the pelvis be held by the prop or the support below you? From butterfly pose, very slowly extend your legs open into a straddle, into dragonfly pose. This can be a deep, Stretch and opening through the groin, the inner leg lines. Just allowing gravity to pull on the feet. Your body will naturally rest at a stopping point. You can continue to rest your palms on the thighs or you can rest your palms to the lower abdomen. Letting go of all effort in this space.
And as you're letting go through your physical body, notice if there's any emotional currents that are rising up to the surface of your awareness, ready to be shed and released. Taking your palms to the outer thighs. Help your legs slowly draw back into butterfly pose. So you can draw the thighs slightly together, bend at your knees, soles of the feet draw back towards each other. Taking a breath in and out and help your knees now in towards each other. Relaxing the pelvis and extending both legs up. And taking a few breaths to process that deep opening. And let's slowly bend our left knee. Flexing your left foot and crossing the ankle on top of the right thigh, just below the knee. Draw the left knee away from the body. You can use your palms to support the thigh. Taking breaths into the left hip. And you can stay here exactly as you are. If you feel like deepening into the hip today, you can bend your right knee and slide the foot to the wall. Your thigh bones coming closer towards the chest and you'll feel quite a deep stretch down through the left hip. And just make sure that you keep a flex through the foot to support your knee.
taking three more breaths. slide your right foot up the wall. Release your left leg and bring your left leg against the wall. And pausing here for a few breaths and feeling the movement of prana through the left leg and hip. you notice some gentle shaking through the legs, that's just your sciatic nerve releasing stress. Slowly bend your right knee, flexing your foot. Crossing your right ankle over the left thigh and then helping the knee away from your body. Feeling the sacrum relaxed on the prop below, your hips and pelvis at a neutral position. And breathing in to the right hip. You can move deeper at any time by bending your left knee and sliding the foot to the wall, hugging the right thigh closer to the body. sliding the left leg up against the wall. 
and then releasing through the right leg. Feeling now the powerful movement of energy down through the right side. Feeling this waterfall of energy moving towards the heart and the pineal gland in the brain. We'll bend both knees, setting the feet against the wall. And then take your hands to your shin bones and let's hug the knees a little bit closer, compressing through the lower abdomen. Taking both knees over to the left side, coming into a two knee twist, adding any cushions or support underneath your thighs or between your thighs. And then open across the heart, relax your right shoulder and turning your head to the right. If that's too intense for your neck, keep your head at neutral. Bring your head back to neutral and continue breathing, massaging through the spine. Big breath into the center of your chest. And full breath out. Floating your top leg up and shifting onto your back and then the bottom leg. Hugging both knees to your chest. And relax the space between your eyebrows. bringing your body now over towards the right. Opening up across your chest, relaxing your left shoulder and letting your head drop to the left.
bringing your head back to neutral, back to center. Deep and full breaths into the center of your chest. Slowly rolling all the way over to the right side. Curling your knees slightly towards your chest. with one palm on the ground, rolling all the way up. And we'll come up to a comfortable seated position against the wall. If you need extra support, bring a bolster along your spine. Crossing one shin bone in front of the other. And let's take our palms face up on our thighs, softening the center of your palms and bringing your thumb and your first finger together to touch. Relax at the elbows. And bring your full awareness to the space between your eyebrows. Turning your inner gaze upwards. Imagining in this space a point of light, just like a star in the night sky. Each time that you inhale, say to yourself, so. And each time you exhale, say to yourself, hum. So, hum. And then let go of that internal mantra, the mantra of so hum that's so intimately connected to your breath. 
Each time that you breathe, this mantra arises on the breath, reminding you, I am. I am. And staying connected to the presence of your breath, let's bring our hands to heart center, taking one more cleansing breath in through the nose, out through your mouth. And we'll close with the sound of one ohm, taking a big breath. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Please remember to subscribe to my channel to support free yoga online. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Until next time, namaste.